hey guys in this video i'm gonna guide you through how you can install valorant if you already had all the valorant files in your pc so let's start the video but before that if you are new to the channel please make sure you subscribe to the channel and also select the bell icon to all notifications so that every time i post a new video you will get notified so what i mean here is that you have all the valorant files already you have taken all the valorant files from your friend or you have backed up all the valorant files previously so here you can see i have all the valorant files here i can just right click and go to properties and show you the file size is around 60 gb so we don't have to download the whole valorant again which is around 60 gb we can use this file and install valorant using around 2 gb's minimum how much internet data will need to install valorant successfully in our pc that depends on how old is your file means if you have the latest file shared by your friend you don't need that much of internet data around 1 gb will be okay and we will install successfully so let's start the process so here you can see i kept the valorant files here this is the file path this pc windows c and here is one a storage to use then i had the valorant files here okay now to install follow the steps with me open your chrome browser then search here epic games i'll click enter and here is the search result you can see here is epic games website store.epicgames.com you have to click the download epic games launcher and download the epic games launcher create an id and then you can see here epic games launcher now i'll open the epic games launcher software once the epic games launcher has successfully opened just log in first and then in the search bar click and search valorant now i'll click enter and search valorant after that you'll see valorant here just click on the photo as we all know valorant is available for free you will get a get option here just click on that get option after that you buy valorant for free then you will come to see in library option here just click on it after that valorant will be added to your library just click on this photo of valorant now we are in the installation process here i'll just deselect create shortcut because i don't want to create a desktop shortcut here and then click install now we have a pop-up here just click yes after that you can see installing valorant and i can click here and show you the internet speed and downloading here so our valorant application has successfully downloaded now what we have to do is click on launch so for playing valorant we need riot games launcher it will by default download in your pc just wait for the download process to complete now our downloading is about to finish once it's finished just a, a pop-up here click yes then again a pop-up will appear click yes here now you can see we had successfully downloaded the valorant launcher now we have to just link the valorant file which we had already in our pc also first and foremost just click stay signed in and log into valorant i'll click google and log in with google first i'll click my email and after that it will pop up once and open right client you can also create a valorant account if you don't have one now we are in the final process and now we will link all the valorant files with this launcher and start playing valorant so for that i'll close riot games once and then show you from the beginning so we had installed this valorant launcher called riot client we will just right click and open it once the launcher is fully opened and loaded just click here you can see the valorant logo click here then it shows an install button click on the install button after that you can see it says install a 58 gb file but as we already had all the valorant files we will click already installed now you can see our file manager had opened now what you have to do is locate your file location where you kept the valorant files which has been shared by your friend or you backed up earlier so now you just follow and see how i'll locate mine i'll click this pc then go to c drive and again i'll go to this one and here you can see as i showed earlier valorant files what you have to do go to the valorant folder then go here riot games folder then go to valorant folder and then here is the live folder here what you have to do don't open the live folder just click the live folder once and you can see folder live then click here ok 
Now a pop-up will come, just click yes. Now you can see it says update and install Vanguard. Just click on update. Now what it will do here is just link the file with the latest update of the game. So if the Valorant files that you had are very old, then here you can see a downloading also because the latest file and your file don't match. So it will download the latest file and compile it with your older files. That depends on the update size. But for me, you can see my Valorant files are latest and it says repairing files means what's going here is my files are just linking with this launcher now after your file successfully linked or finished all the downloading you can see here your game require a system restart just restart the system once now i'll restart my system i'll close all the applications first here i'll close this file manager and this browser after that i'll have to stop the recording then i'll restart my system so i'll click here and then click here and click restart now once your system restarts just click and open riot client now again we will click on the valorant logo after that you can see successfully we had installed valorant in our pc with the files we already had in our pc now i'll open valorant and show you once that it installed successfully so for that i'll click on play now as you guys can see Valorant had successfully opened here. It's taking some time to launch. Also remember the time needed to launch Valorant depends on your internet speed and your PC specs. Here I will go to play option and then practice and the range and enter the range. So see we had successfully installed Valorant and it's running perfectly here you can see. So if you guys found the video helpful I want you to please like the video and if you have any query you can just go to the comment section and ask me and also anyone watching my videos for the first time please make sure you click the subscribe button and set the bell notification to all notifications so every time i post a new video you will get notified bye bye